Dad, I keep hearing about static pressure and dynamic pressure in my aerospace class. What's the difference? Good question, Steve. Both are forms of fluid pressure, but they describe different things. Think of static pressure as the pressure you'd feel just sitting in still air. And dynamic pressure? That's the extra pressure due to motion, like air slamming into your face when you stick your head out of a moving car. So one is from being still, and one's from moving? Exactly. In terms of equations, static pressure is just P, the pressure felt by an object at rest in the fluid. And dynamic pressure is given by the following equation, where rho is fluid density and V is velocity. So dynamic pressure depends on how fast you're moving through the fluid. Right. And in aviation, we care about total pressure, which is the following sum. Aircraft use this to measure airspeed with pitot tubes. They capture both pressures and subtract to find the velocity. Why not just use static pressure alone? Because static pressure doesn't change with speed. It's great for altitude measurements, but dynamic pressure reflects the kinetic energy of the flow. It tells you how fast you're going. So without both, planes can't fly safely? Exactly. Static pressure gives altitude. Dynamic pressure gives airspeed. Together, they feed the pilot critical info for flight control and performance. Got it. One tells you where you are, the other tells you how fast you're flying through it. That's the aerodynamic balance, Steve. Every pilot relies on both, whether it's a Cessna or an F-22.